Welcome to a journey of the mind where we envision not just an escape, but a whole new beginning. Imagine this. You're not merely planning a brief getaway, but preparing to turn the page to a new chapter in your life. Picture yourself moving to a realm where tranquility reigns supreme and opportunities abound. For many of my viewers in the United States, the peaceful and expansive landscapes of Canada stand out as a beacon of calm and potential, an idyllic refuge just beyond the northern border. Isn't it fascinating how discussions about relocating to our affable northern neighbor seem to spring up with the regularity of the seasons, especially following every presidential election? Despite the enthusiastic conversations and the enticing prospects of maple syrup and stunning scenery, the actual decision to move is one seldom made. But consider for a moment those intrepid souls who do take the plunge. What incredible experiences await them in this expansive northern land. Imagine a nation where the towering Rockies and vibrant cities like Toronto blend in perfect harmony. In Canada, the promise of top-notch education Unparalleled safety, exquisite cuisine, and friendly locals isn't merely aspirational. It's the daily norm. Stretching from the Atlantic's rugged coasts to the Pacific's rolling waves and reaching north to the icy clutches of the Arctic, Canada provides a solid safety net with universal health care and extensive support in tough times, like the recent $2,000 monthly aid for those most affected by crises. Yet, even in paradise, there are quirks to discover. Consider, for example, the unique culinary creation known as pineapple pizza. Originating in Ontario, this controversial treat is just one thread in Canada's vibrant cultural fabric. Stay tuned as I explore the top 10 reasons why moving to Canada might not be the ideal choice for everyone. Number 10. Car Insurance Embarking on the journey of car ownership in Canada unveils a stark financial reality the exorbitant cost of car insurance. This often overlooked expense significantly surpasses the rates found throughout much of the United States. While the serene province of Quebec offers a slight respite, reducing the financial strain, the rest of Canada paints a different picture. Here, drivers typically face an average annual premium hovering around $1,300. Venture deeper into the bustling hearts of cities like Toronto and Vancouver, and the financial burden intensifies. In these urban maelstroms, if your driving record remains pristine, average insurance costs can scale the daunting peak of $2,200 a year. However, for those with a history speckled with traffic infractions or accidents, or for the young drivers just beginning their automotive journeys, premiums can skyrocket to a staggering $5,000 annually. In stark contrast to the U.S., where insurance landscapes often feature minimalistic coverage, Canada's insurance policies are built like fortresses. Offering extensive, all-encompassing coverage, these policies demand a higher initial outlay but provide Canadian drivers with a vast umbrella of protection. This shields safeguards against the potential legal and financial repercussions following accidents, offering a substantial layer of security in exchange for the hefty price tag. While this robust approach to insurance might be a strategic investment for peace of mind, it's a financial hurdle that could deter potential residents considering the Canadian expat life. Number 9. Expansive Horizons and Remote Splendors Venturing into Canada's expansive terrains might initially appear as an enticing adventure, yet the grandeur of the nation's sprawling geography can paradoxically curb your accessibility. In bustling cities like Vancouver, Montreal, or Toronto, a network of slick public transport systems effortlessly links you to a mosaic of dynamic neighborhoods. But step beyond these urban confines, and the narrative shifts dramatically. Canada, ranking as the world's second largest country, unfurls as a vast canvas of sparse, breathtaking beauty, with a mere average of four souls per square kilometer. This presents a stark contrast to the vibrant clusters found in the United States, where over 36 individuals populate the same space. Picture the sweeping distances that span between these thinly scattered settlements, a landscape not of void, but of lush, pristine wilderness. Here, the wilderness speaks in hushed tones from the rustling pines to the pristine, untamed shorelines. 
Embarking on the monumental trek along the nearly 7,500-kilometer stretch of the Trans-Canada Highway offers a narrative of epic proportions. Driving from the fog-laden Atlantic coasts to the craggy Pacific cliffs is not merely a trip. It's an epic journey lasting over 80 hours. Towns and cities, the occasional rare gems in this vast expanse, are often a full day's drive apart, requiring at least six to seven hours on the road. Such distances don't just challenge, they invite a deep reverence for the sheer scale of nature's majesty. To truly immerse in this untamed wilderness requires not just a vehicle, but a spirit ready to embrace the profound isolation such spaces offer. For those daring to explore, the rewards are boundless, not just in the sweeping panoramas, but in the profound peace found in such overwhelming openness. As you journey through this vast country, every mile is a deeper dive into the heart of Canada's serene, majestic solitude. Number 8. Healthcare. Picture this. The Canadian healthcare system is often hailed as a bastion of universal access, a veritable utopia of cost-free medical care. At first glance, it offers sanctuary from the economic storms that health crises can bring, providing care free at the point of use. However, the landscape changes starkly when faced with serious ailments or severe injuries. In these instances, the true cost is measured in time, not dollars. Imagine needing urgent care and finding yourself in a seemingly endless queue. While a routine doctor's visit in Canada might take a mere eight days, significantly faster than the U.S. average of 24 days, the real challenge emerges with more critical procedures. Canadians endure an average wait of nearly five months for minor surgeries, a period almost four times longer than their American neighbors. This prolonged wait can be a test of endurance for those requiring timely interventions. Despite these delays, the Canadian system does offer considerable benefits. It protects against financial ruin during health crises, providing coverage regardless of employment status, and features substantially lower prescription costs compared to the U.S. However, for those who value time as much as cost, the American healthcare system might be more attractive. In the U.S., financial means can expedite access to specialists and urgent care, ensuring swifter medical attention for those who can afford it. In conclusion, if prompt access to medical treatments is a top priority and financial considerations are secondary, you might find the U.S. healthcare system more aligned with your needs. Number seven, the elusive search for high paying jobs. While Canada's healthcare system offers widespread benefits, with universal coverage that protects many from the harsh reality of medical expenses tied to employment, the job market presents a starkly different challenge. Despite some economic growth, the pursuit of well-paying jobs in Canada can feel like a relentless odyssey, particularly for immigrants. The job market here is not only fiercely competitive, but also characterized by a scarcity of high-end positions that, when available, draw hundreds of overly qualified candidates vying for a chance. Securing a lucrative position varies widely across provinces and cities and heavily depends on one's specific qualifications. In many cases, without niche skills in high demand, the journey to a good-paying job can be daunting. Additionally, Canadian work experience is often a golden ticket in the employment lottery, highly prized by employers, and typically a prerequisite for the best roles. Although the unemployment rate has recently improved to 5.3%, it remains higher than that of the United States, where it hovers around 3.5%. For those fortunate enough to find employment, the average income levels in Canada are somewhat reassuring, often surpassing those in the U.S. However, the overall picture is clear. The quest for a well-paying job in Canada is filled with hurdles, making it a significant deterrent for those considering a move to the Great White North. Number six, the internet dilemma. If you're thinking of relocating to Canada with dreams of seamlessly managing your online empire, you might want to reconsider. The state of internet connectivity across this vast nation could throw a wrench in your virtual gears. Sure, in Canada's bustling metropolitan areas, you might manage to find a service plan that offers decent internet at a steep price. 
Expect to shell out over $100 each month for speeds that barely make the cut by American standards, like 75 megabit downloads and 10 megabit uploads. However, venture beyond the urban jungle into the sprawling suburbs or the idyllic rural areas, and the internet landscape becomes dire. Here, high-speed internet is as scarce as a warm day in January. The reality hits even harder with the restrictive data caps that plague even urban dwellers, not to mention the universal caps across less populated areas. Breach your 80 gigabyte monthly limit and the fees could be astronomical. In these remote locales, a mere 5 megabit per second download speed can cost you anywhere from $4 to $500 a month. So, if your livelihood depends on reliable and fast internet, Canada might just challenge your patience and your wallet more than you'd expect. Number 5. High Taxes Picture this. A chunk of every paycheck you earn is funneled directly to the government. It's an inevitable truth anywhere, but in Canada, the bite from your budget can be particularly sharp. Healthcare and infrastructure demand their dues, and here, they're not shy about collecting them. You might note that Canada's highest federal tax bracket is 33%, a seemingly modest figure compared to the U.S.'s top rate of 37%. Yet, this straightforward comparison masks a deeper, more burdensome reality. In Canada, you'll hit the top tax tier once you earn over CAD 235,675, about USD 172,000. Contrast this with the U.S., where you need to rake in over USD 578,125 to reach the equivalent bracket. But the financial tug doesn't end at federal taxes. Each Canadian province and territory layers on its own income tax, usually tacking on an additional 10 to 12 percent to most salaries. Venture into Quebec, and your wallet might feel the pinch even more, with a staggering additional tax rate of 25.75% on incomes over CAD, 120000 These hefty taxes fund a slew of benefits, urban upkeep, paid family leave, pensions, and universal health care, to name a few. However, it's crucial to know that nearly half of your salary could be swallowed by taxes, especially in certain locales. Moreover, Canada's national sales tax stands at 5%, and provincial sales taxes pile on another 6 to 10%. Settling into your Canadian life also means potentially juggling tax responsibilities back in the U.S. or your home country, especially during those initial adjustment-filled years. So, while the benefits are many, the fiscal freedom can be significantly less, making every paycheck a reminder of the high cost of Canadian comforts. Number 4. The Soaring Cost of Living Prepare your wallet for a shock if you're mulling over the prospect of moving to Canada, especially if buying a home is on your mind. The picturesque landscapes of Ontario, Alberta, and British Columbia come with a steep price tag, as real estate markets in these regions have turned into the battlegrounds where only the financially fortified can dare to tread. In these provinces, the escalation of housing prices has outpaced income growth, setting a new standard for unaffordability. Take Vancouver, for instance, which now wears the crown as the least affordable city in North America, outstripping even San Francisco. Here, the dream of owning a home has inflated to a dizzying median price of around one million U.S. dollars. Even Toronto, which might seem a bargain in comparison, demands a hefty 600,000 U.S. dollars for an average dwelling. Venturing away from the urban heartlands might promise lower prices, but the cost of commuting from these tranquil outposts quickly adds up, thanks to the expensive necessity of owning a car. Beyond the steep slope of housing, the general cost of living in Canada doesn't offer much reprieve either. Many Canadians find themselves crossing the border into the U.S. to snag deals on clothing, furniture, and even gasoline, testament to the economic relief just beyond their reach. Although the price tags on groceries and essentials might echo those found stateside, the overall financial burden of Canadian living can be as chilling as its winters. Number three, the enigmatic politeness of Canadians. The oft-repeated adage that Canadians are just so friendly may paint a picture of a nation brimming with smiles and open arms, but the canvas of Canadian cordiality is textured with more complex hues. Indeed, Canadians tend to exude politeness, 
However, this outward friendliness often masks a reluctance to express true feelings openly, unless amongst close friends. This cultural quirk breeds a subtly passive-aggressive environment where directness is often shrouded in pleasantries. In contrast to the American straightforwardness where people freely express their lack of interest in friendships or social gatherings, Canadians are more likely to concoct plans they have no intention of keeping, simply to avoid the discomfort of confrontation. While this might initially appear as an endearing trait, especially in the quaint charm of smaller towns where sincerity flourishes, the larger urban landscapes tell a different story. Here, the veneer of hospitality can sometimes feel just that, a thin coating over a core of polite detachment. For newcomers, this pervasive nicety can be misleading. It's all too easy to mistake a thanks for coming out or an I'm in a hurry sorry as genuine when in fact they might be the Canadian equivalent of a polite dismissal. Living in such an environment can be perplexing as you navigate a sea of polite smiles, trying to decipher the undercurrents of true intentions. This aspect of Canadian culture, charming at a glance, might just leave you yearning for a place where words and meanings align more closely. Number two, the great white chill. Amidst the plethora of reasons one might reconsider moving to Canada, the Arctic embrace of its winters stands out as the most chilling deterrent. Envision a land swathed predominantly above the frosty threshold of the 49th parallel, where the bite of winter extends for six to eight months, rendering the air so cold that the sensation in your face becomes a distant memory. In this icy realm, the heart of winter throbs with two to three months of almost surreal, cold, treacherous roads and relentless storms that would make even the bravest shiver. In the vast Canadian landscape, only Vancouver and Victoria escape the full fury of this frozen onslaught, boasting climates mildly reminiscent of Seattle. Yet, make no mistake, these cities are no sun-drenched sanctuaries. Step outside this mild zone, and every other city plunges into a deep freeze. Quebec, Edmonton, Regina, and Winnipeg often see the mercury plummet to a bone-chilling 30 Celsius, 22 Fahrenheit, turning them into veritable ice kingdoms. The average snowfall in most cities hovers around 50 inches, but the skies above Ottawa and Montreal are particularly generous, draping these cities in over 90 inches of snow annually. Preparedness for an endless cycle of shoveling becomes a survival skill here. This pervasive cold is why over 90% of Canadians cluster within 150 miles of the U.S. border, seeking some respite from the relentless northern chill. Venture further north, say, to Yellowknife, and the temperatures encountered earlier this year serve as a frosty testament to the formidable Canadian winter. Number one, the immigration process is difficult. Crossing the U.S. border might bring to mind a breezy day trip for a glimpse of Niagara Falls, but if you're aiming to nestle into the Canadian landscape permanently, prepare for a gauntlet. The path to Canadian residency is fraught with hurdles that make a steeplechase look tame. While U.S. citizens can cross into Canada as easily as a leaf on the breeze for short visits, laying down roots is a different story. To gain residency, you must be as desirable as a rare truffle boasting skills that sparkle in the eyes of Canadian businesses, or be fortunate enough to have a job already waiting for you. Perhaps you have kin in the great north who can vouch for you, or maybe your entrepreneurial spirit and hefty net worth can pave your way. However, if your past includes a brush with the law, health concerns that raise alarms, financial instability, or family ties to previously banned individuals, your dreams of Canadian residency might remain just that. Dreams. The process is neither straightforward nor budget-friendly. Even a matrimonial alliance with a Canadian doesn't guarantee a passport. Clicking Remember the subscribe to like button subscribe is a great motivation for your channel. Keen on unraveling Thank you very much. more mysteries of moving abroad. Clicking this Drop your thoughts below. I'm eager to hear them. Canada, with its majestic landscapes and frosty charm, awaits the brave and the prepared. If the chill doesn't bother you, it could be the sanctuary you seek.